Bridget, do what? Sorry. I'm recording right now. Sorry. Okay, perfect. So, uh, what did you, what did you do this weekend with all the all the great great weather in Nashville? Did you do anything fun? Admittedly, nothing. I painted my bathroom. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, what color? Dark green. Okay. It was a cool. bold choice. There's kind of a spur of the moment decision. I'm not mad about it, except for the paint on my ceilings. But <laughs> I'll figure that out. How about you? That uh, I did a little uh, deer hunting. I didn't see anything, but right. uh, I got a, a lot of bug bites. The bugs are, <laughs> the how bugs long, are still out. So. How long is deer season here? So it's archery season for like the most of October, and then. Uh, Rifle season is around November till I'm trying to remember early December, but it's mostly November. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't hunt at all, but my last job, um, I worked with a bunch of hunters. And I remember my first day of work, my boss came in with a turkey that he had killed like that morning and just put the <laughs> whole entire turkey in the freezer. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's kind of like that office episode right where Dwight comes in with the goose that he ran over <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it and then he gave it to someone that worked there too so it was pretty much it, exactly that <laughs> that's that's funny yeah so do you do it yourself bathroom paint job that's pretty impressive yeah I um I started it and then I promptly remembered how much I dislike painting so <laughs> what should have taken like an hour maybe took like a solid eight to ten because I just like put the brush down I was like I'll come back to it um, <laughs> but yeah uh, it was it wasn't bad and it was nice having like the wind being able to have the windows open and like not worry about paint fumes and things like that so it was yeah like, it's my first play time living in a place I can actually like paint the walls and do things like that um I've lived in pretty strict apartments prior to now so yeah I have the freedom so. That's cool. That's awesome. So is this a house that you're, you're, you're doing this in or? No, just an apartment. Um, I just have a really chill landlord. So okay. yeah, which is um, very welcome from the past ones that I couldn't put holes in the walls and things like that. So um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They get mad at you for putting up a picture. Right? Yeah, exactly. We've all been there. Exactly. <laughs> I have learned how to patch walls though, just because of that. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay. So, so Bridget, if, if you don't mind, uh, I'd, I'd like to go ahead and get started on the negotiation. Uh, and I think I would just like to start out to say how uh, unfairly we feel that we've been treated uh, in terms of uh, what has happened with the meat flour deliveries. It's really caused a lot of uh, not only production issues, but production to like our customers. And it, it's really caused like a huge, huge headache uh, not only uh, in uh, creating the quality product that we like, but also in uh, doing it in a timely manner as well. So I just wanted to, to start with that uh, as kind of uh, express my frustration, not only uh, with our uh, relationship, uh, but also with like the current uh, climate moving forward. So I just wanted to start off by saying that. Absolutely. And I sincerely apologize um, for everything that has been happening. Um, I know that some managers on a little bit lower than both of us, I'm assuming, have been meeting and have been discussing um, their woes and their problems. Uh, that has not come up to me yet. So this is one of the first times that I've been able to look at the numbers and kind of understand what's happening. Um, so kind of going from there, I see for the past uh, four weeks, I believe, if I can, one moment, please, I just have to find that information. Um, there's only been four cases of the numbers going outside of the limits that were set. So yeah. outside of those four times, are there other times or other issues that are causing such frustration for you? Yeah, so I think the, the thing that really, uh, like the, the limits are, are supposed to be limits. It's not like oh, let's stretch as far as we can go to see if, if we can, like, it, I'm trying to think of the, the word, we're trying to bend it as much as we can for not breaking it. And that, that's really frustrating on our end. And it, it's almost like kind of unreasonable in, in the way it, it makes us feel in terms of the production. Like the, we don't want 
to be stretching the limits every time. We want to be at the average every time. So that's kind of my thoughts on on the limits. It's it's meant to be occasionally hit, but not every single time hit. So I think that's one of the things that I'm frustrated the most with. Okay. Um so I'll definitely get back to that in just a moment. I just want to discuss your business for a moment. Um, is business going well? Are things, are sales increasing? Yeah, so we, we are not only, uh, we're, we're doing pretty well. We're, we're having increase in volume, right? And with that increase in volume, we need to have the supplier that not only meets our like demands, right? But also does it in an on-time way. Uh, and also adheres to the quality that we have, right? So we're known for a high quality product and we don't need a supplier uh, tarnishing that reputation, uh, somehow uh, not only tarnishing it, but it, it, it ruins the product for our customer, right? So those are the types of things that business, uh, has been going so I, I think we, we're doing pretty well but also let me let me emphasize that the high uh, costs in production so let, let's say uh, the the meat flour was uh, the water content was at like 12 percent that causes us higher production costs because we have to change over lines to meet with that uh, that that new input that's changed so that that's kind of we're doing well, but we have unnecessary costs due to you guys. Uh, so I'll just state that. Okay. Um, do you think that there would ever be a need for an increase in um, the meat flour that you would need from us? I'm simply asking because um, right now, if you can order more than 20,000 tons per year, we can ensure the quality to an, a brand new level. We'll decrease the margins. It'll be plus or minus 2% rather than 3%. Um, and I'm just wondering if that's something that you'd be interested in. Yeah, so I, I think if we increase, so like when we're talking about increase in volume, so we have a new uh, global uh, initiative coming up. So we're increasing volume in Mexico, we're increasing volume in Europe. Uh, so this is a 16 tons estimated uh, per year. Uh, so wait, start, excuse me, that was wheat flour. We're, we're just talking meat flour, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, so Mexican market is 10 tons per year starting in six months. And the Europe market is two tons, 2,000 tons per year uh, this year and then 4,000 tons next year. Okay. And okay. sorry, I said 10,000 on the Mexican market, or did I say 10? Uh, 10, you said 10, but okay. thank you for the clarification. Okay. okay. Yeah, so, so we have the, the opportunity for growing markets, mm -hmm. right? And I think we're just looking for a supplier that, that won't mess that up, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, that's something that we wanna emphasize uh, is not only are we frustrated with your business, uh, you guys aren't the only player in town, right? So we can easily go down the street uh, and get another meat supplier, uh, and they'll probably meet that, the quality demands that that we want. So I think moving forward, we want to be able to uh, have those quality demands that 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 we meet, and then also uh, if we were to give you the new volume, we would need assurance that we would meet those demands. Okay, so here's something that we can do for you if you're interested. Um, we would be able to, if we increase your um, yearly allotment to 20,000 tons, we can, like I mentioned before, we can lower or minimize the margin that we currently have, which is from 3% to 2%, plus or minus. Okay. Additionally, that will, the price per ton will decrease. Um, right now, I would say it's probably roughly around, it would probably decrease about $19 per ton that you'd be receiving. So it, although you'd be ordering more, it would be a cost saving measure as well. Um, and since it is such a large delivery, um, we are willing to pay um, any, if there's, a, if there's a problem with the, the product or we go outside of those margins, we'd be willing to pay um, penalties for missing the specific 
the specific um, margins that we told you that we would do or the numbers that we mentioned. Okay. Is that something that interests you? Yeah, so I think that's something that we would, we would be interested in. Uh, so let, let's, uh, so I, I'm fine starting there. So let's, can, do you mind if we start with quality? Of course. So what, you mentioned the 2%, right? And is, is that on uh, water content average or is uh, the, the plus or minus 2% on the fat content? The fat content. Um, and then with the the fat content, so plus or minus two percent. Okay. And then for the water content, is that also two percent as well, plus or minus? Given so it's ten percent water content, and then plus or minus two percent. That is something I don't have um, directly in front of me. Right now, you currently have it at plus or minus two percent. Um, so I, I believe probably going, we'll start with the plus or minus 2%. And if that continues to be a problem, we can always check back in and we can negotiate it down to a little bit lower percentage. If that's something that becomes yeah. a concern further down the road. Right. So in my opinion, I think that is the issue. Okay. Uh, so even though we're at 10% plus or minus 2%, uh, you guys have been averaging around 12%. Okay. Uh, like when I talk about like the like pushing <laughs> pushing the limits, mm -hmm. uh, so this is something that uh, we want the average to be ten, right? And like historically, you guys haven't been able to show that, right? So maybe if we do plus or minus one percent, that's something that we feel will ensure that we do that will get you guys to a, an average of 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 ten percent water content. Okay, that's definitely something um, of interest to us. We do you think that we can do plus or minus one and a half percent? Since this is, since we have been going plus or minus two percent currently, um, maybe we can set a limit for six months of plus or minus one and a half percent, and then from the, that six months on, it'll be plus or minus one percent, just to kind of give us a time to ease into the order, to ensure everything's working properly, and that we're able to deliver products that are meet your demand. So I would say if I were to do one and a half percent, then I would need assurance that the average was 10%, right? So, so besides me going to another supplier, what, what could you assure me that you would average 10% instead of 12%? I think it, since it's a larger order, we have more quality control um, protocols in place. So it will be um, more more on point to the 10% uh, required or requested rate. Um, it's simply from going from a smaller order from 9,000 tons per year on average to 20,000 tons per year. Um, it may just take a period of time. We have three to four months where if we solidify this deal, we have three to four months where we're opening a new um, factory, um, which will be amazing and will allow us to hit that 1% and hit the 10% requested rate consistently. We just have to have that three to four month lead time in order to make sure that it's something that is, that can be done. Okay. So I, I, I'm hearing you guys uh, to, to, to hit the 1%, right? We need three to four months lead time to hit that. Correct. All right. Okay, given the new factory. Correct. Okay. Uh, so so how about the the one and a half percent, and then maybe we do a as, as an option, and then we have uh, in addition to that a a running average of the the six or the the ten previous orders being with being like equal to 10% plus or minus 1%. Does that make sense? It does. Yes. Yep. So like it, so it's saying like, if I'm like plus 1.25%, mm -hmm. right on one and if I'm plus or minus 1.2, like the average is 10. So I think that's kind of where we're at. So okay. I'll, I'll document that and then. Perfect. I know that when we talked about your business um, prior, you mentioned that uh, 
an influx of wheat flour is something that you're interested in as well. And I'm not sure if you know this, but we also offer wheat flour and we would love to be able to sell that to you as well. Okay. Uh, so ten, I mean, sorry, if, if you don't oh, mind, I'm okay. just capturing all the options. So I'm going to 10. Okay. Yeah. So you guys also offer offer wheat flour. We do. Uh, yes. So I'll, I'll just state if if we're not happy with the meat flour product, mm -hmm. what would be the reasoning for us to go to the the wheat flour product? Well, like I mentioned prior, um, since you are going to be extending your order to a larger size, the quality control is going to be um, there. So it will be the similar with wheat flour. Um, if so right now the market price for wheat flour as you probably know is 130 to 140 dollars per ton um so dependent on if you're willing we'd be willing to cut you guys a deal as well in order maybe for the first six months so you can try it out see if it meets your specifications and then from there we can solidify your price further down the road okay so i think that's some so having a trial period of six months right of the wheat flour um okay so currently we already have a supplier for the wheat flour right and we don't have anybody um so so i think we already have a supplier but i mentioned the growing volume right and that's an opportunity for you guys to test uh, for, for us to test you guys out for the wheat flour. Could we potentially delay that trial? Uh, so I think the Mexican market is starting in, in six months. Could, could we test it out then? Sure, sure. We, I think um, if we, oh. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, we're here, all right. Yeah, we can, that is something that we can definitely do. Um, like I mentioned, we are going to be having the, a new Chicago plant opening, so that would actually, the timing would work perfectly. Um, and I think now that we've kind of solidified, if, are there any more concerns on your end in regard to the meat flour, the wheat flour before we move on? Um, yeah, so the, the, one of the big issues is, so the, the payment we made that was, or the payment we didn't make that was over specification, right? I, in my opinion, I think that should be waived uh, just based on it didn't meet any of the, the, the specifications. And then also like the, the average that you guys were at was closer to the upper limit than it was 10, right? So it was closer to 12 and 10. So we felt that's something that has been uh, a real pain point on, on our end. Okay, absolutely. Um, were you able to use the flour at all? So we, we had to, but it also uh, had to have a large uh, cost on like shifting production, okay. right? So some of the, the materials that uh, you guys given us, given like the variance to those specifications, right? Has cost us around 200K in uh, shifting uh, machinery around to meet those specifications, right? So if, if, if one, line is run at, or one order has a, uh, what is the, a 20% fat content and another one has a 22% fat content, it has to be switched around to, to accommodate that. So, so that ended up costing us around 200K in total. Okay, do you mind walking me through your process? Because I know we deliver each morning by 9 a.m. Um, and so is it at the beginning of the day that you measure the fat content and the water content or is it while it's in production? So we measure it before it goes to production. Okay, so the days that um, I have flagged of over the, the allotted percentage is Monday the fat percentage is 23.1%, Wednesday, Wednesday the fat percentage is 23.2%, and then Thursday the water percentage is 12.1%, is that correct? Uh, let me just verify. So, 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that that last Wednesday was twenty three point two percent. Yeah. Okay. So um, unfortunately, so the two hundred fifty thousand dollar invoice for the month. Um, that for me is we can't waive that whole entire invoice um, simply due to the fact that there were instances throughout the month that there were no problems at all. Um, so like week one and week three, there was not a single problem with it. I mean, it may have been on the upper limit, but it didn't break the, the percentages over unders. Um, I do recognize that we have gone over four times. So that is something um, that we apologize for, like I mentioned before, and we'd be willing to maybe cut a deal, specifically week four. We can maybe take a little, we can um, maybe discount three days of week four, because having three days in one week with it being over, and I understand the cost associated, that is something that we can, can take, in, take into consideration. So with that in mind, would you be willing to, um, entertain the idea of maybe paying $225,000 for the, the overall? So, yeah, so I think what we really care about is quality. Okay. And I think you guys have, like, you, you kind of mentioned it, right? Consistently shown you, you can't meet quality, right? And if, if, if we can't have the quality product that we need, then I think uh, maybe we go back and revisit the, the volume that we talked about earlier. Because uh, I think that's our biggest like, issue, right? And it's the thing that I'm most upset about is the, is, is the quality. And I think when we take uh, the, the big picture into account, this is saying we're paying for a, a poor quality product, which like in, in principle, like I can't like go to my boss and, and say, we can do. Okay, I, I completely understand. Um, I guess my concern on my end is that until the failure to pay the bill or the reluctance to pay the bill um, due to the quality issues, we were never notified that this was a problem. Um, so never in week two were we told that a bill would the bill would not be paid if this had if quality issues were not met and technically i understand that completely that we are on the upper echelons of the percentages and the quality um, percentages needed but there technically have only been four days in the whole entire month that we did actually go over um so like now that we've in, we're discussing this and we're talking about this in person we now know that going that close to the plus or minus percentage is detrimental to your business, but that is that was not knowledge prior to this. So okay. unfortunately, that's not something that we were able to fix prior to now because we just didn't know. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I think on our end, it just felt like you guys were, were like watering or watering down your product, right? Being at 12%. Uh, so it kind of made us feel that we were being gypped. And then like when it's finally over 12, right? We, we, it was kind of the last straw, right? Cause that's what the contract says. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I guess the, the question is what, what happens if we, if we can't pay that 250 K for that, for that pay, for that shipment? Um, unfortunately that's, Right, how about we find a solution prior to then if we can, if you're able to. So according to my math, and, and my math could be wrong, um, each day of, so the bill is $250,000. So each day is about $8,928, um, plus or minus some change. So what we would be willing to do is we would be able to take off the four days we can, so that would be, um, it doesn't seem right. It would be um, $35,712 $35, off of your final bill. So we would completely take out those four days. Um, and we can, in a show of good faith, we can round up to $40,000. So you would only have to pay $210,000. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so so I'm hearing you're subtracting the, the specific payments, right, instead of the whole order. Correct. Well, so um, you had 28 days of product that you utilized. So I the four days that over, went over the total amount. I subtracted those from your bill. Okay. Um, okay. So I, I think that's definitely an option. So, so you say two hundred and uh, so forty k off the two fifty, right? So two ten. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, and and I think one one issue with that, right, is if you if you look at let, let's just take the water content, for example. Mm -hmm. The whole four weeks, you guys were just flirting with that upper limit of 12, mm -hmm. right? So that's something that, I mean, in, in our opinion, devalues our product as well. So I think that's kind of my concern. Like I, I get the whole being over, we'll pay for that, right? But when we look at the big picture of the whole month, uh, I mean, 11 point, uh, let me just read some, 11.8, 11.7, 11.7, 11, 12, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I think we're, I think that's kind of where our frustration is on our side as well. I definitely understand. Um, just from a contractual standpoint, we are within our contract, but I am having, I know that it's on the upper limits and that costs you more money. And it's very unfortunate that we were that high. Um, so we do want to work with you. We do want to continue the business with you. And we do promise that going forward, it will be lower. That being said, we can't negate the whole entire bill for this month because it was promised and it was, it was received and it was um, utilized. So okay. is there a number that you have in mind that is something that you'd be willing to pay for the product that you've used? Um, yeah, so... Let me just touch on uh, within the contract too, it doesn't specify when we pay, right? So we can also wait till the end of the year. Uh, so. I, do, I, uh, I completely agree with you on that. <laughs> it's not specified. Um, we do wanna get this solved as quickly as possible. Um, and I think if we're able to negotiate this now and handle this now, ideally you'd pay, be able to, willing to pay now you can still pay at the end of the year, but this problem, if not resolved now, will still be here at the end of the year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so let me rephrase the question. So I guess the, what, what am I willing to pay for that shipment? Right. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I've expressed this before. I think uh, the way our boss feels is the, the whole shipment was was kind of uh, watered down, if you will, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the, those four data points were just areas where uh, the contract was broke. Uh, but given that, I, I think we're partners in business, right? And I think you've also given us like a pretty fair discount, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of not paying for for products that go below uh, or go above or below the the rate, uh, so I think that's a that's a fair option. Uh, I think, however, like moving forward, if like the understanding is uh, this is something that we're not flirting with the upper and lower bounds, right? But we're at the the main average. I think that's something that we would highly value. Absolutely. And we can definitely put in um, systems into place to ensure that. So before the product leaves our factory, we can measure it. And then when it gets to your factory, you can measure it as well. So we'll have information to kind of go off of. And in the future, it'll be caught prior to it actually, to you receiving it. Okay, cool. So we, we talked about the, the mispayment, right? The other thing I want to talk about is um, the the, the unwarranted manufacturing costs that we've experienced with your product of 200K. Mm -hmm. um, 
So is that something that you guys are willing to, uh, to, to move on or help us with in terms of uh, like your product in the past is, has hurt our bottom line in terms of making uh, a product efficiently? Because I already mentioned like having to change lines over with the high variance in, in product. Absolutely. Um, that is definitely something that we can discuss. If you don't mind, just giving me one moment to do some calculations and I can let you know. Yeah. Okay, so if we do what if for the next year, so how about we split that difference because we recognize that we cost the two hundred thousand dollars, so we'll pay $100,000, but in lieu of actually paying you, we will divide that over and take um, that money off of your monthly bill for the next 12 months. So we'll pay, we'll give you the $100,000 in discounts. Okay. Is that something that is agreeable? Yeah, I mean, I just think we already incurred the cost, right? So like we're already in the whole 200K. Mm -hmm. it just it just feels like we're getting like the like i don't know <laughs> <laughs> what would uh, be a reasonable outcome for you what is something that you desire uh in order to kind of absolve this this issue uh so maybe you, you mentioned the discounts for like our future product right mm -hmm. and i think we value quality, right? Mm -hmm. And we're willing to pay a little bit higher there if okay. we have the quality insured and then you also give us the break given the, the, the poor quality in the past. So I think that's kind of where, where I'm coming from, where I think if, if on not only the future contracts that we talked about, right? And if we get a little bit closer to market value, I think that would be ideal. And then as kind of like us showing that as an act of good faith, you guys helping us out on kind of the, the costs that the poor quality uh, has given us the past six months. Okay, and for the past six months, so going forward, um, I mentioned before that our assurance would be to pay the $100,000 in discounts going forward but you would like something more retroactive? Um, no, no I, I'm thinking, so let's, let's still focus on the picture going forward, right? And so okay. instead of just the 100K, if mm -hmm. we do the 200K, and then instead of giving us, I think the number you mentioned, like the 19 cost reduction. Okay. Maybe um, if that's a little bit closer to market value, we're fine with that as long as we have the, the quality assurance. Uh, on our end, okay. uh, because if we don't have quality assurance, right, then it costs us on the manufacturing side. So mm -hmm. uh, we would honestly be fine paying a little bit more for the high, higher quality, right? And, and, and you guys compensating us for those high production costs due to, due to low quality. Okay. So, um, so is that an option? I'm kind of, admittedly, I'm a little unsure about us paying the full $200,000 um, simply due to the fact that, um, like I mentioned before, this is the first time that some, both of us on our levels have heard of this. I know our lower level managers have been uh, talking about it for a few months. And this is also the first time that you refused, you never refused a shipment prior to now. So although you may have had quality concerns, there was nothing, um, that was great enough for you to refuse the, the product or refuse the product going forward. So I understand that this has been an issue for six months, um, but I, I don't necessarily think that 
we can incur the whole cost of the $200,000. I think going forward, what we can do is we can um, continue open lines of communication first and foremost, so that if there is an issue, we're notified it the week of, um, rather than at the end of the month. Um, additionally, like I mentioned before, we are willing to um, kind of take over half of that, that, um, that payment. Um, I mentioned discounts before going forward. And I think since we already have set up um, a penalty system in order when we go up um, above or below the specifications, plus or minus 1% for water or 2% for uh, fat, that will also ensure that we are keeping um, the quality there. Yeah. I, I think if, if you guys can promise the quality, right, I'm fine with the 100, 100K. Okay. Over, over 10 years. Okay. So I, I think we're on the same page. We're, we have a little bit of time left, and I think we've, we've kind of all laid out a lot of reasonable options. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think we can go ahead and, and maybe pick the one that's best for both of us. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to uh, – oh, sorry, the – TV turn off. Um, turn off. Uh, so so let let's start with that. So first, I want to talk about quality. Mm -hmm. uh, so first is water content, right? So okay. this is plus or minus uh, one and a half, one one or one and a half. One and a half for the first six months and then transition to 1%. Okay, for first. And then transition to one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I think the other part of it was like the 10 shipment running average. Correct. Yeah, so I, I you said every six months, um, it should equate to 10% within the 10% plus or minus 1%. Okay. Okay. Sorry, we gotta. <laughs> Emily, you gotta, you gotta do this. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, what was the cost figure you mentioned? So you right now, um, you pay about three hundred and fifty-seven dollars per ton. Um, and I don't have an exact number in front of me, but it would be safe to assume that you'd be paying around 340-ish per ton going forward with the, yeah. with the increased um, uh, order size. Okay. So 340 per ton? Uh, relatively. That's not an exact number. I don't have, like I yeah. mentioned before, I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, but um around yeah. around then okay so could i offer a, a a quick option i know we're running out of time uh maybe we'd be willing to pay a little bit higher price if we could okay. reduce the fat content to maybe one and a half percent what are your thoughts on that what I is don't... that achievable with the new plant if not just just tell me. unfortunately i don't know that uh just right off the top of my head and i don't have the figures in front of me um that is something that i can definitely research and get back to you on though okay um, i i want to say that is something that we can achieve i just am not exactly positive okay so i'm gonna put tentatively one and a half percent for the fat content as well okay. uh, cost being around like 350 are you thinking 355 yeah, let let's do let's do, and then we're paying three sixty now, right? Three fifty seven. Three fifty seven. Yeah. Let's, yes. Yeah, the three fifty works. Okay, and then um, we talked about price. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about offering in six months. We're got we're we're gonna give you guys first dibs for the wheat flour for our new Correct. volume. Correct. Uh, And then back to, to meat flour, mm -hmm. uh, you guys would also, if you meet the quality specifications we, we've outlined, then you guys would also have first dibs at, at that volume as well. 
Okay, so it's the the quality is contingent or aligned with the order amount. So by increasing to 20,000 tons, that's when we can ensure that the quality is met to that, that level. Okay. Um, we can even, definitely put a clause in there for the maybe the first six months if we do not abide by the quality issues or the quality specifications that we put in place. If we are kind of on the upper echelons and we go up over that plus or minus percentage, um, we can definitely get back together and renegotiate then and kind of see what we can do going forward. Okay. So yeah, the general, the, the like the unwritten agreement that we're shooting for the new quality standards, but okay, okay. I'm fine with that. Um, and then one thing that could really help us out uh, in terms of increasing like throughput to meet that new volume, we have limited space in our factory. So we're hoping that you guys could offer twice uh, day delivery instead of one time per day. Is that an option you guys could, could help with? It is, yes. Okay, cool. Um, okay. Um, it is 8.52 or 8.53, just to let you know. Okay, yeah, and, and, and we, can, we can wrap it up. And I, and I think our, our partnership will, and I, I think we've summarized it, our partnership uh, will help us not only with the current volume, but the future volume. And I think you guys will help with meeting our high quality demands. Yes, so, we need to grow together. Okay, you can, you can stop recording. Okay. Uh,